Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Spoilers for the Thursday, March 14, 2024 episode of General Hospital hint Jason speaking his truth, while other characters require assistance and much more. You will not want to miss this episode. Since returning to Port Charles, Jason has been involved in a waterfront showdown that ended with his sniper pal gunning down Dante. He was also wounded. He attempted to reunite with Carly, but law enforcement did not allow him to stay in one location for long. Later, he contacted his son, Danny, for assistance. Now it's time for Jason to explain where he's been for the past two and a half years. Will he tell only the truth? More importantly, will the PCPD, the feds, his friends, family and ex-partners think he did not shoot Dante? How good is his story? For some reason, John asks Jason's best friend for assistance. Yes, despite the fact that his last connection with Carly was not particularly positive, he contacts her anyway. Does he believe she is the only one who can reach Jason? Or does he come to her for another reason? Lois obviously wants to check in with Sonny, Morris Bernard. After all, they're old friends, and she knows he'll be emotionally vulnerable as Jason returns and Dante is in the hospital. Can she provide him the comfort he requires? Or will he push her away like he has everyone else in his life? Expect Sam to have difficulty concealing her suspicions. Is this Jason's concern? Does she learn anything about what happened between Jason and Danny? Does this raise any concerns about Jason? Finally, Molly dons her legal eagle hat and approaches Anna about filing prospective charges, probably against Jason. How will Anna respond? Will she learn more about his story, shedding light on Jason's innocence? When Steve Burton's return to General Hospital was announced, people anticipated that Carly and Drew's romance would soon end. Oh, did it ever. However, every black cloud has a silver lining. Laura Wright and Cameron Matheson, who play Carly and Drew, recently demonstrated why the marriage works better apart. Even before Jason returned to the screen, G8 prepared the framework for the crew to split off. He couldn't let go of his grudge against Nina, who committed no laws by turning the two over to the SEC, but Carly wanted to let go. Drew marched up to Carly's house after discovering that his sibling was still alive. She was astonished when he opted to knock on the door, but she should not have been. Carly's future has been permanently altered now, but Jason has returned. G.H. earned a daytime Emmy for directing Carly and Drew's stunning love beach sequences, which were shot in Malibu while being set in Florida. Director Fidog Xavier told Soapub in the daytime Emmys press room that Port Charles exists in a parallel alternate reality where you can freeze the globe and do whatever you want, culminating in mountains appearing in Florida. Drew and Carly frequently faced a figurative mountain throughout their courtship. Jason's comeback was always a possibility, and now it has happened. We also couldn't really commit to Carly and Drew, because she was reportedly on the rebound from Sonny, Morris Bernard, who was, is, in love with Nina. Perhaps Carly was in love with Jason all along. Matheson put Drew in a good position when he went to meet Carly after hearing about yet another Jason resurrection. He knows Jason is the one for her, despite the fact that Jason appears to have decided not to tell her he is still alive for the past few years. What about Drew assuming the blame for Carly's involvement in the business shenanigans that landed him in Pentonville? How does Drew feel right now that the lady he gave up his freedom for is so quick to leave him in the dust for his brother? Perhaps Nina is not the person to whom he should direct his rage and frustration. Matheson hit the essence of the matter in his portrayal when Drew told Carly that Jason's innocence was only apparent to her. You can't even allow for the possibility that maybe Jason made a mistake, he said. I'm not sure if Jason shot Dante, and neither do you. Carly, you only have your feelings for him. That's plenty for you. Jason and Carly, you come first, together. You always have and always will. Yes, soap operas are about beautiful beach remotes and vows of love, both eternal and temporary. However, 
they also involve conflict. Carly and Drew have some now, and it does not involve Nina, who did nothing wrong by contacting the SEC. Not only will there be friction between Carly and Drew, but Drew may not be particularly fond of Jason, unless he has a compelling reason for keeping his existence hidden all this time. Perhaps G8 will guide Drew to Willow's path. Willow's portrayers, Matheson and Caitlin McMullen, have good chemistry, and their budding connection could complicate things for Drew and Willow's mother-in-law, Carly. The GH actress took a detour on her trip to Sin City. On General Hospital, Alexis Davis, played by Daytime Emmy winner Nancy Lee Gran, has had her fair share of scrapes throughout the years. She has pulled herself out of jams and had help getting out of them. In real life, the actress discovered a new hero while on a road trip to Las Vegas when her car broke down. My brand new car broke down in the middle of the Interstate 15. Here, let me show where I am, Grand shared with her Instagram followers. She used a camera phone to indicate her location in a remote area. What did Grand drive? Let's just say her car's model is pronounced Alexis. So, kind of in the middle of nowhere, waiting for a tow truck. We're just rolling with it because that's what you do when your car breaks down after you just bought it. In a second post, Grand showed herself attempting to hitchhike. Gee, I wish I had known before I brought this brand new car that if you drive 70 miles per hour for three hours the transmission will fall apart, she blurted out. In the General Hospital episodes of Tuesday, March 12, and Wednesday, March 13, Carly and Drew's relationship is in serious peril as they dispute about, who else, Jason, Drew realizes that his brother means more to Carly than anybody else. Carly doesn't believe Jason would ever shoot Dante. Laura Wright, who plays Carly, raves to Soap Opera Digest about these violent and volatile scenes, which appeared to ruin Carly's romance with Jason's brother. Jason's, Steve Burton's, dramatic return entailed turning to Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, with whom he connects on many levels. Unfortunately for the best friends, their reunion was brief, as Anna, Vanola Hughes, and John, Adam J. Harrington, were on his heels. And now Carly has to account to Drew, Cameron Matheson, who is unhappy that he did not learn about his brother's resurrection from her. This leads to a heated confrontation in which Drew and Carly express their opposing viewpoints. The confrontation proves to be a turning point in Drew and Carly's relationship, which neither Wright nor Matheson anticipated. The daytime Emmy-winning actress admits she was surprised. I hadn't read the script yet because I had three shows prior to focus on, she said. But Cameron was shooting the aftermath scenes, talking to someone about breaking up with Carly, and he texted me and said, What the hell? It's difficult to accept that Drew and Carly are no longer together. It was obviously an about-face, but I kind of enjoy it because I believe that's how daylight used to be, right? And the scenes were packed with emotion. They were extremely well done. I am proud of them. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.